All right, guys, so I got a John Deere S180 here. This is a newer 54 inch deck um, John Deere riding mower that I, I got a little over a year ago and uh, busted a belt and was looking up videos to on replacing the belt on this. And every video I found, um, everyone talked about taking the deck off. And I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that. So I couldn't find any information about not taking the deck off. And so I was looking at the, the new belt I broke, um, that I bought. And right, it comes with the diagram. In the directions on here, there's three steps. Clean the surface of the mower deck. Um, route the belt around. You gotta loosen two of these. I'll show it to you here in a, a second. And then, uh, and then you're good to go. So there was no deck removal um, required. And I was shocked at how easy this was. It literally took me 10 minutes. So let me show you what I did. I took off these shields, right? So you got these shields here on each end. And I loosened these two here, right? I used, uh, what is this? 16 millimeter socket. So I loosen these up. You need to loosen them so you can slide them up to get the belt in between here and here. And that's it. Um, then you just follow the diagram. The diagram's available in your operator's manual, but it's also available on the, on the packaging of the new belt here. You just follow the diagram, you route it properly. And then when I got over here, it was a little tight getting getting it around here, but you just kind of work, you turn this as you work it on and it, and it just kind of slides up on there. And that's it, it's done. So I didn't have to remove the deck at all. So I don't know if uh, John Deere uh, designed these newer, these newer decks to do that because the PTO is just this little button here that you pop up and down. The older ones had that big lever that you pull up it was, it was more manual, so I think this is a, an electronic PTO, and maybe that has something to do with it. You don't have to remove this deck. It's a big 54-inch deck. There's no reason to remove it. I just got that belt on. We're going to get fired up here, make sure it's, it's actually running, but um, 10 minutes. Took it off, put it on, and I'm ready to go start mowing again. So let's start her up. Okay, so one other thing you got to do is these two that you loosen up, on the packaging, it actually tells you that those should be tight to 35 pounds. Um, so I used this big old beast here to get the proper tightening on that. I'm probably not using all the right terminology because I'm not like a, a mechanic of any sort. So apologize if my terminology is off, but whatever. Um, so here, if we, if we get, start kicking this around, everything looks good. It's routed properly. I double-checked it. These are tightened to the specification they're supposed to be. I'm going to put the shields back on, and then we're going to start it up. All right, guys, so we're going to start her up and kick the PTO on, see if this thing blows up or if I put the belt on right. Moment of truth. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Old Hunter's here. Okay, so I'm just gonna recap the steps because this was super simple. I um I I got the John Deere in position here. I lowered the deck so it was sitting down on the ground. I had room to work under there. I um, also unplugged the spark plug, just extra safety. I just popped the wire off there. And then I took off the shields, one on each side. The old belt was already broke, so that was off. Um, I loosened up these two sheaves, which is this one and this one. That was a 16 millimeter socket for that. 10 millimeter socket for the, the shields. Then I just followed the diagram and routed the belt on. I started on the left and worked my way to the right. Like I said, when I got to that right side, you just kind of got to turn the wheel and um, 
the belt just kind of f like follows falls right into the 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 pulley there or whatever it's called. Um, that was it. I pulled the I you know I pulled the belt, make sure everything was aligned. I double checked. Uh, then I put everything back together. I mean, it didn't take long at all. And um, then I fired it up, and it sounds like it's working good. So I will go cut some grass, but. Um, I guess if it blows up on me here, I won't be posting the video. So hopefully you found this helpful because I could not find a video for an S180 and it is super simple. You don't have to take the deck off. You need two tools, 10 millimeter socket, uh, 16 millimeter socket, torque wrench, 35 pound setting to tighten those back on, new belt. Um, I also blew the deck off with the blow my blower. I just kind of cleaned that off. Other than that, good to go, baby. All right, see ya.